just dropped off my little mozzarella. She's having surgery today and I'm sad. So we just dropped Ella Ella Mozzarella off to get her surgery done. Um, and y'all ain't gonna lie, like I almost got teary eyed walking out of there. Like I am already so stupidly attached to this dog. It's ridiculous. It's like the cutest little thing I've ever had in my whole life. She's so well behaved. Like she's just the best baby ever. Over the weekend, of course you guys know that we had um, Maria, the concrete kid here to meet the Southern Mamas. And during the time that she was here, while I had a great time, I ended up also having a couple of anxiety attacks. So I've told you guys before that I have anxiety, but like, I don't think I've ever told you how severe the anxiety is. And it was like pretty bad. I had a couple of bad attacks and I think it probably would have been worse if Ella wasn't here. Since I've gotten Ella, my anxiety has went way down. Like she is so helpful. So it's really nerve wracking to know that she's having surgery today and that I don't get to pick her up until tomorrow. Speaking of surgeries, I was called on Tuesday to be informed that I was approved for my bariatric surgery, the particular one that I picked, and I got a surgery date. My surgery date is gonna be January the 25th. There is a positive and a negative to being picked for that surgery, which is the positive is, is they picked me for the surgery that I wanted is is because I was so close to borderline not weighing enough to having the surgery I had to make sure that I didn't lose any weight but the insurance restricts it that if you don't lose a certain amount of weight before surgery you have to go on a liquid diet my liquid diet if I would have lost weight would have been two weeks long but because I couldn't lose weight for the surgery in order to qualify for it my liquid diet is four weeks long Jesus help me. So my liquid diet starts on December the 28th. So between now and then, I am going to eat like a fat cow because this is it, y'all. This is it. But at least one positive that comes out of this is the fact that I don't have to be on a liquid diet during Christmas because that would suck. Blueberry donuts and coffee. Yeah. I will never be able to stop at a Waggles again without thinking about Maria. She was just blown away by Waggles. Do what? Do billion, billion, billion so like if I was really rich, what would I do with it? Yeah. Um, me and Daddy have talked about that a lot. I would make sure that our family was taken care of. I would have a big nice farm. And Mama would start Bob two things. Yeah, I'd buy you bee bucks. And an LOL doll for me. And an LOL doll for you. But I would do two things. Thing number one is I would run an animal sanctuary for dogs and cats that people don't want anymore and that are too old to be adopted out. I would like take care of really old animals until they die, like give them a great place to live until they die. So I would have an animal sanctuary and I would have a foundation. You remember when baby Shane died? Yeah. If Nana and Mama hadn't stepped in and helped me pay for it, I wouldn't have been able to afford Shane's funeral and his burial spot. So I would start a Shane's foundation to help parents who lose their babies unexpectedly be able to give them a proper burial and funeral. That's what I would do if I was wealthy. So it's 11.30 and we just got a call that Ella did great. Her surgery is over. And then I get to go pick her up tomorrow. And right now, we're eating an early lunch and catching up on the show This Is Us because we've not caught up with the new season. Solomon was like, I'm still sad that Jack died. <laughs> Me too, better. So it's about 10 minutes till 6 o'clock and John gets off, gets off at 6 o'clock. I am making dinner. Nothing exciting. The kids picked chili cheese fries. And like I said, I plan to eat like trash until the 28th. Believe it or not, I panicked when I heard four weeks of a liquid diet because the first bariatric surgery I did, liquid diet literally meant that you got water, 
protein shakes and sugar-free jello, chicken broth. That's it. Like, that's it. But now they're, like, sending out a list and it's got, like, yogurt and cottage cheese and I don't know what else. And I'm just like, this is not a liquid diet, my friends. This is not liquid. So, I called and checked on Miss Ella Ella and she is doing fantastic. She's really sleepy and her poor little eyeball is swollen. But um, that's totally normal. But she's doing really, really good. And I get to go get her in the morning. I cannot wait to get my mozzarella. Filmed our very last live stream for Southern Mama's Coffee Break Season 2. And I do have a couple of videos that I'll be uploading between now and New Year's Eve. But then after that, you won't see Southern Mama's until March of 2019. We're going to take a couple months break. And in the meantime, I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy... A new computer and I'm gonna buy some new cameras and lighting equipment so when we do come back it's gonna be so much better video quality editing quality than what we have right now and of course you will see that change on this channel long before you do on Southern Mamas all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I am going to go eat dinner and chill out with my husband so until tomorrow we love you bye